So I'm, I'm here to get in and install the meter. Which one did y'all decide you wanted? No, sir. We had to talk to someone today that we have, we've confirmed several times that there would be no more installation. I can provide you with the uh, documentation. I recorded the conversation. I'm not going to hook it. They're not going to hook that back up on the pole until we change that meter. And there's two options: the new smart meter or the non-transmitting meter, which is well, got both of them right here. Whichever one you decide to. Uh, let's call up there again because we've talked to them several times, yeah, and that's just Jessica not what they've said, told us. Jessica said that the power would be turned on by the end of the day today, without any anything being installed. That's what Jessica said. Okay, well then you're going to need to call them back. Yeah, what's up, Levi? We're not, uh oh. <laughs> I keep calling you by accident, man. I, I got a small emergency. I keep dialing this 813 because I'm just trying to call Tico. They shut my power off. Let me call you in a little bit, it's man. Old I'll call you. Old Sorry, brother. Yeah. It has to be changed. We can't use that meter anymore. The meters that everybody, that 95 or 98 percent of the customers are getting are for calling the new electric. meters, the smart meters. <laughs> We can read those meters. We don't have to come in the yard. We don't even have to come out here. We can get all the information off of that meter that they need to get. If you don't Sorry. want that meter because you don't like the smart meter, then the other meter, the non-transmitting meter, it's got a digital readout on it, but it doesn't transmit any Sorry. information. We have to come and get in there every month. and. I would think that they would have explained that to you if you had a conversation with them about when you get the meter that's non-transmitting, we have to come out here and go in the yard and read that, physically read that meter every month. That meter that's in there, we didn't have to. We could drive it through the neighborhood. Thank you for calling Cabin Electric and People's Gas. But that technology is going away. That's not going to be available to Sir, us Sir, if you anymore. could just be quiet for a moment. I'm trying to get through the line, but, but your voice is... If you're going to call them, I'm, I'm... But Jessica confirmed that you wouldn't have to enter the property. I asked her specifically. I also have that on documentation. Gas. Okay. I'll tell you what. She you said you'd here? be able to remotely uh, read it, and I have that. Do you remember yeah, her telling us that? We asked her about that specifically. We also talked to somebody, Clive, this morning, and he said he wasn't supposed to come here. So we put in a complaint because that's what he basically went ahead and did. Um, that's just something Guys, that... Guys, the, the meter that's in the socket, and I'm not trying to be a jerk, the meter that's in the socket... We're not either. We're not either. Okay. It's just, hello, sir. My name is Levi Jonathan, and I live at the address 668 Avenue I Northwest in Winter Haven, Florida. I've got a gentleman at my door. What's your name, sir? Benny Parker. Benny Parker, who was ID here. 571. Right. You were here previously today? I was here earlier today. And when you were here today, um, what was the conversation? Do you remember? Because you drove off. I, we didn't I, I drove off because you weren't going to let me change out the meter. There was Correct. Else I uh, could do. Because we've spoke with several representatives who have affirmed that we have an agreement, that we have opted out of the smart meter, and that we would pay an additional fee, $96 one time and 20 something perhaps uh, an additional every month. Um, this has been agreed with, with uh, at least two different representatives at two separate occasions. Documentation could be provided. And this morning, this uh, if I may, please, yes, sir. Reached emergency services. We do nothing with the meter swap out here, and that's something that would be handled through our customer service because they'll have records of any transactions or agreements. Could you please transfer me? Thank you. Thanks. While you're getting a hold of them, I'm going around there and let him know what we're doing, okay? What are What are you doing? I'm going around. Good afternoon. Tell Thank the you guy for calling customer service. My name is Jeanette. How may I help you? Hi, Jeanette. My name is Levi Jonathan. I'm standing here with Benny Parker, who has visited the house twice today. 
attempting to change the meter out. Um, we've spoke with several representatives. We had an agreement that we were going to keep the old meter. Um, I asked Jessica specifically today uh, because the power was cut and we had to have the power. We're, we're waiting to have the power reinstalled now. Um, Jessica okay, well, had. Hold, hold on just a second, sir. Is this a um, commercial meter, residential meter? Residential. Okay, and you said your name was Jonathan. That's correct. Okay, are you the technician or the homeowner? Homeowner. Okay, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. So over the past two days, uh, we've had to contact back and forth uh, with Tico uh, because there was an attempt to cut the power off. Uh, the first person I spoke with was Michelle. Um, she provided me, uh, we, yesterday, she had them dis continue their job of cutting the power off and we were told that they would not need to enter into the property um, that um, we had opted out of the smart meter and that um, that there was really nothing else to do um, I have that conversation on record the next person I talked so yes, you opted out of the smart meter meaning you wanted the to stay with the digital meter that's correct. Whatever's okay. there. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. This had been going on for some weeks. Um, I had also spoke with okay. representatives previously to this, and I, it was, it was, to my knowledge, that, that we were going to just keep the old meter and pay the additional fee. We didn't realize okay. we had to take additional steps and, and what not to, to keep the same meter. Uh, okay. the, we just uh, uh, um, were told that we would have to pay, pay extra. Um, right. Right. So... The past couple of days, we've had people come to the house trying to cut the power off. Yesterday, as I said, we spoke to Michelle. Michelle told okay. us Michelle told us that um, we were just going to stay with the same meter, um, okay. and she stopped them from cutting the power off. Thankfully, at that time, today um, I had reached out to a Clive. There was this gentleman that's here today, Benny Parker, that came by in the morning. He said... Who is Benny Parker with? He's with Tico. He has a Tico shirt okay, on. Okay, with Tico. Okay, uh-huh. Um, he said we got to change the meter, and I okay. said that that was not something that we had discussed, that we were under the impression that the meter was not going to be changed. Okay. He went away. I disappeared. Um, next thing you know, the guys came and cut the power. Um, we spoke with a gentleman named Clive at some point today who... Clive is customer service or yes, technician? Customer service. I'm sorry. Okay, gotcha. This nope, was I'm following you. After Benny Parker showed up at the house, we spoke with Clive and um, I asked him if I'm supposed to expect to have a meter changed and he said no. Okay. He told okay. me, no, you shouldn't expect them to have to change the meter at all. Um, okay. He said they'd be able to read it um, from the street, and it was something the they'd have okay. to come out once a month to do so, but that they wouldn't have to change the meter and they wouldn't have to come into the property. That was the okay. bottom line. Um, after that, like I said, the guy showed up and cut the power. Uh, at that time, okay. we called up customer service again and spoke with the Jessica. My wife Jessica, okay. spoke with her uh, for most of the time, uh, uh -huh. but for certain that at the end of the conversation, I asked her specifically again, was I expected to change the meter? Was I expected to um, let people on my property every month to read it? Or what was I expecting to do? And they have told me the same thing, that I, there's no expectation that I, that, I, that I have to let people on to change any meters at this point. We've okay. opted out. Okay. And he's, uh -huh. Benny Parker's now here again saying that we have to change the meter. Okay. And is he available? He's right here. Okay. Yes. Hello. Okay. Hello, this is Benny. Hi. Who am I speaking? Hi, Benny. Danette in customer service. Hey, Jeanette. How are you doing? Danette with a D as in David. Danette. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Just in, no, no, no. Just in case you're making notes or whatever. Go ahead. So, um, the customer opted out of, um... The AMI meter? That's correct. That's what I've been told. Okay. Uh huh. And so we're putting a meter in there uh, that is uh, what we're putting in when a customer opts out, and it's the non transmitting focus meter. Uh huh. The customer 
wants to keep the meter, this is what I understand, he wants to keep the meter that's there, which is the old AMR meter, and doesn't want us in the yard to change it out. I explained okay. to him that that meter has to be changed one way or the other, okay. either with the AMI or the focus meter, the non-transmitting focus meter, which I have either one of those, whichever he decides to to uh, choose at this point, but he evidently choosing to keep the meter that's there doesn't want us in the yard. That's my understanding of the situation. And the meter that's there, tell me again what kind of meter it is? That's an AMR meter. The meter that AMR we've had. meter? Yes. The so meter. in my terms, is that digital? That's a, that is a digital meter. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a right, transmitting okay. meter that we've been reading for years, riding through the neighborhood with the handheld mm -hmm. computer. Yep. Yes. Right. Everything's and going then, right. And we can't get that equipment anymore, so we are now doing the smart meters, and if the customer doesn't want the smart meter, then they have to go back to the one that we can get, um, that we can still buy from the vendor. Correct. Okay. And that's a digital readout meter, no longer the uh, di the old mechanical dial meters, but it's right. a digital it's a digital meter readout meter, but it ha has no transmitting capabilities. Right. Right. So those are the two options, but mm -hmm. Mr. Levi here doesn't want either one of those meters. That's the way I'm reading this. Okay. All righty. Um, and have you contacted your I'm here. I'm here because my supervisor sent me here this afternoon. I was here earlier today, and okay. who's your supervisor real quick? What's his name? Who's your supervisor real quick? Charlie Mobley. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to place you on hold if that's okay. Well, here's what here's what I'm gonna do, uh, Danette. Okay. Uh, okay. If I can't gain access and do my job, there's no need to me standing here. So we're driving okay. away, and the customer's going to have to decide which meter he wants. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be like four pages that yeah, I have to read through, but you definitely have to follow your supervisor's instructions. And so if you do drive away, does that mean that the customer doesn't have any power? The reason we turn with the reason... The customer has no powers because they denied me access earlier today to change the meter out and it was determined that and we've gone through all the steps and procedures it was determined that we were disconnecting it from the pole which is what happened the customer agrees to put a, one of the two meters that are the options in the socket the power will, will be restored so yes that means until until he decides to put uh, one of these meters okay. in there. Yes. Okay. Okay. All righty. I'll go ahead and speak to the customer. Okay. I'm going to... Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Right here. <clears throat> All righty. So, um, now, first and foremost, I want to say that I'm in customer service, and the people that you have been speaking with are also in customer service. The gentleman that is on your property right now is a technician, and he is following instructions from his supervisor. Now, this is something that has been um, approved by the Florida Public Service Commission. So, the information that he's giving you is correct. However, I believe the information that customer service gave you was what we have learned in training. Um, and we don't get this very often because not a lot of people um, are opting out. So I don't believe that they didn't say everything that they said. I do believe they did. Um, however, I believe that the technician has to follow the instructions from his supervisor. And another, to give you a little bit more information, um, Part of the reason why we're going to the smart meters is because we cannot buy the old meters that we had. We can't, we can't buy them from a vendor anymore. And we're updating our infrastructure as well. So when a storm comes through or a hurricane, these 
are the benefits of the smart meter. So you are going to have to choose between the two options he's giving you. Well, that just wasn't explained to us this well, whole time. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm in customer service. The number you're dialing is customer service. You won't ever speak to a technician over the phone because they're the ones in the field. So the information he's giving you is correct. And eventually, if something does go wrong with the meter that you choose, you eventually will be um, given a smart meter. What do you mean by that? There's no option. Eventually, it could be, it could be two years from now. I mean, if something breaks and we can't replace the one or two meter that you picked today, one day you could have a smart meter. That's what I was explaining to you. They're going to force it on us anyway. We're well, we, not going we, to be able to get the, the, the stock anymore. Things are are changing. Well, I that mean, could be pretextual. The dial meters, we can't buy those anymore. Nobody makes them anymore. Well, I mean, that's something I'm not aware of. I mean, I'm not an expert. And in this, you wouldn't be. No, yeah, no. But chain. we have sent communication But I do know one thing, ma'am. Yes, sir. That your company's the only one around. That provides electricity. And that's what I wanted to. to and it's a also Canadian company. A convenient? Canadian. Oh, we are owned by Amera, yes, sir. Um, what happens with electricity is we are regulated by the Florida Public Service Commission. So basically, um, they give us instructions on how we can regulate as a company. So, for instance, up north Florida would be um, Duke Energy. In the middle of the state would be Tampa Electric. And then in the bottom of the state there would be Florida Power and Light. So yeah. it's because And the same person probably owns every company. Hey well, look, you know differently. Um they're owned differently. Well, you you're talking about uh, four companies that run it run the show. And we have one choice here. Um, Tico, I've been supporting you for as long as I've lived in Florida. Right, so basically, before we did any of this, all of this information was mailed to 880,000 customers in writing. So everyone knew that these meters were going to be um, switched and you had an option. He's there today. So if he leaves, you're not going to have power. So you have to give him an option. Which one do you want? Well, when will the power be on? Do you know? I mean, he's there, right? Yeah, he's, he's standing so around. He would be the one that you would be asking those questions to. He's the technician. Well. So you just tell him which meter that you want and he's going to take care of it. Otherwise, he has to leave and complete another job per his supervisor. All right. It's just because when we first spoke, you didn't seem to have any knowledge of that the meter had to be replaced. Is that correct? I'm not going to say I didn't have any knowledge. I was listening to everything that you said, but I also had four pages of notes I needed to read to figure out what was going on. And those notes were not sent to the customers, is that correct? Our notes do not get sent to the customer, no. So d was so there any notice? The what? Was there any notice to the customer that the that the that uh, a meter the meter would have to be changed? Absolutely. Well, and this started about two years ago. Well, and everything that we do as a company is in writing. We got noticed that, that y'all wanted to install a smart meter. But like you said, there was supposed to be an option to opt out. Uh, we just right. didn't have notice that someone would have to change the meter regardless. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, because we can't buy the, it's not made anymore. 
can't buy the digital equipment. But I do want to let you know, sir, that he is going to leave if you don't give him your decision. He has to move on to the next order. So we don't want you to be without power. So you would just advise the technician which one he would take care of it and then you would have your services turned back on and he would tell you, you like how quickly that? it would be turned off. I'm not giving us an option. Okay, and did you have any further questions for me? And you tell me that you, you, you think that the, the smart meter will be forced on us regardless. Eventually it will because we won't be able to buy the equipment. But we're still going to have to incur the additional expenses even if um, we out. have him That's change it to this okay. other option? We're going to make a decision. We have to talk about if it. You, if wait. you go with the smart meter, you're not going to have any fees. What if I'm saying with is one of the other two options, there's going to still be fees because somebody has to drive out there and read the meter. I'm sorry, ma'am. He he said he's he's trying to leave and my wife's trying to stop him. Right. Um, so you need to give him a decision. But what I'm trying to trying to I, I can't answer any more questions if he's gonna leave, sir. I don't want you to be without power. Well why do we have to pay additional if he has to change the meter anyway. And how do I know? How do I know that he's not going to put this smart meter in, which we find to be uh, evil? Because, because integrity is our priority. And he is going to tell you the truth. So, but, <laughs> sir, you only have a couple more minutes, and he's going to end up having to go to the next call. Well, then God bless you. And what was your name? Danette. It's D as in David. Yes. A-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. God bless you, Danette. Okay. Are you going bless to give Danette. him a decision? Quite possibly. Okay. All right. The conversation. God bless you. What would you like to do? Would you like me to disconnect the line? What would you like to do? Yeah, just Caller, if you can hear me, I'm able to hear you, please hang up and dial 813-223-0800. You want to pay the extra? All righty, uh, Mr. Benny Parker, uh, we're going to go with the uh, non-transmissible, no smart meter technology. Sure, absolutely. Okay. That's, that's why I have it in my bag. All right. All right. Now, how many people we need to do this job? The only, I'm going to go up he's there and make go, it hot whenever I get, put the meter in. Whenever I get the meter back in, he'll make it hot at the pole. All right. Are you going to come with me? I need to come with you. Right. That's the only access, right? That's right. Let me mention this to you before we go. The other meter is not in your name. You took that out of your name, correct? The other meter is discontinued service. That's correct. There's no name on it now. That's an old AMR meter. I'm going to take that meter. I'm going to cover it up. When, when anybody needs to have service put on, at that uh, socket again, we'll put a new meter in that socket, whether it, be a off, whether it be a focus or an AMI, whichever is decided. But that meter doesn't need to stay out here because it's an old, obsolete meter. That's already been de-energized, so we have to... Yeah, there's no power to it anyhow, but they want me to take the meter. The, uh, an old, uh, an old uh, obsolete meter doesn't need to stay out here in the field. I couldn't give you... I'm not giving you permission to do anything else. I mean, you, you already got permission to do the one thing, so... Okay. Let and, me make a phone call. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you told me, sir, yourself, that this was what you needed to do. Now, I just went through the customer service, and now you're telling me something different. I'm telling you that there's no need. Do we for have that to other call meter. customer Why do service you need again? That other meter? Well, I'm just asking if it's something that has to be done. Yes, sir. It has yes. to be done. We need our old obsolete meter. But see, that it's that's our what... property. It's right. Eco's property, and um, they're going to want their meter. You know what? Um... 
give unto Caesar what's his. You can have it. Come on. You want it? Let's go. Which one's supposed to be the smart meter, sir? That's the smart meter. This is the non-transmitting meter right here. Alright, thank you. You can go this way if you prefer. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your help. what I just told you. They said, can I get in to read the meter? Now nah, he's gonna walk over this way. Can't hold this for a minute. got access to why are you videoing us I mean they put the meter in the other day did they did they tell you we had to have access to to the meter to read it are you gonna give me access to it Supervisor will be getting in touch with you about, about this. Okay, have a good day. November 26th, this uh, notice just came in the mail. to uh, contact Tico to replace the traditional meter with the smart meter. For calling Tampa Electric, where it's our pleasure to serve you. 
For quality assurance purposes, your call may be recorded. The system is experiencing technical difficulties. Please try again later. Mm-hmm.